everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> you see it? Just lift it. One, two, three. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys, I can't even begin to tell you how good it feels to be back in the kitchen. Seriously. All right, so today we are going to make, obviously, a squash dish. This dish happens to be um, something I grew up with, but I have to make it keto friendly. Growing up, we always had calabacitas con puerco. So typically it has corn in it, that part we'll omit. It so we're just gonna cut up all of our squash, then cut up our onions, and of course, we will do the same. Why did I make it difficult here? Um, we'll do the same for our tomatoes. I have already, off camera, uh, cooked up a bunch of chicken. So we'll just need to shred it. And by the way, by cooking, I mean I forgot about it for a while as it was boiling and I was editing a video. So if it looks a little well done, it is. And guys, you can make these as big or little as you like. All right, we've got all of our squash, yellow and green. Now it's time for my onion. This is about half of a medium onion. And the guys, when I say I burnt this, I really did burn it. After boiling your chicken, guys, you will want to retain some of the liquid. All right, let's transfer to our bowl. Now guys, the great thing about a recipe like this is while it is you know, Mexican food by nature. Um, if you're not into Mexican food, you've got the basic idea behind this. If you want it more Asian influenced, you can add some of those seasonings. If you like it to be more Indian, switch it on over. But you have, you know, you know all of the ingredients are still gonna mix quite well together. We're not using out of the ordinary uh, type of food. So that's the cool thing about it. This will have cumin in it. And the neat thing about cumin it brings back a really great memory for me. Now, I grew up with my mom pulling out the mocajete, which is basically um, a mortar and pestle, and taking the fresh cominos and um, chopping them up and grinding them in the mocajete. And man, my mom is the best cook ever. All right, so we're gonna let our onions saute up a bit. Hey guys, I went ahead and decided to add about a uh, quarter cup of hatch peppers. All right, so the onions have partially caramelized uh, to a good degree. I will go ahead and add my squash, let them cook down a bit, and we'll be back. Okay, how beautiful is that, guys? Yum, yum. And the rest of this, I don't really measure, guys. That was some minced garlic celery flakes. I don't have any fresh cilantro, very, very sadly. So I'm going to add a ton of cilantro flakes. Now cilantro, guys, is one of those spices where you either like it or you despise it. I love it. And I'm not going to go too heavy on the cumin. Maybe a quarter teaspoon. And cayenne, a good kick of cayenne, a little pink salt, add our chicken. And instead of using the uh, fresh tomatoes, I'm just gonna use some of this uh, salsa by um, Paradise. And it is two grams of carbs for uh, two tablespoons. So yeah, there's no sugar. And then guys, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the broth. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on this, let it simmer, and stir it occasionally. Be back with the final product. Now guys, you're gonna say, Alma, that's really carb heavy. When you serve this, guys, perfect thing to add to it is some queso fresco, a little bit of sour cream, and you've got a really good meal. The more cream and the more queso fresco that you add to it, on Obviously, the higher you can bring up your fat content on this meal. Yum. 
and here we go. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. <gasps> you see that? Oh my goodness. All right, I'm just gonna taste the broth, see if it needs anything else. Because this is pretty much done. Oh wow. Great, 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 great. Okay, guys, that does it. This is calabacita con pollo or squash and chicken. There you go. Hope you enjoy, guys. Let me know if you try it. Let me know if you put your own twist on it. Um, I will include a picture on the thumbnail of how I serve it up to David, probably tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Feels good to be back in the kitchen. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's so neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.